the vision was probably the vision that, that everybody has. You know, kids, maybe a cat, a dog, you know, a place for, for children to actually be able to play, you know, a good family dynamic. Look at it now. I was working for a supervisor thought that he could move up the corporate ladder by bullying and harassing employees. Whenever I tried to ask a question, he would blatantly ignore me. He'd get into my face, yell at me. He was trying to become a district manager and was using me as a direct scapegoat. What happens now if the bully manages a thousand people? I, I was nervous, I was intimidated because he would show up on my job three, four times a day. I, I felt like I was working for four to four and a half years that I was being directly bullied. I've had uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. I've had panic attacks. I've had bouts of depression. The stressful environment I was getting at work I brought it home to you know, my wife, and unfortunately, I was taking out that hostility out directly on her. I was angered, I was frustrated, I lashed out. I was ultimately bullying her. But this is emotional. <laughs> my wife and daughter you know, are being affected by this. I have a seven and a half your old deaf daughter. Living in this home that is in disrepair, everything in life is just compounding itself. The bullying, you know, spreads, you know, not just from the job. It goes to the home, goes to the children, and then goes to the, the actual environment. We need to make a change. We need to make a change now.